So after a really good friend, mom, um, basically tried to seduce me, uh, I had no place to live. So I ended up staying at this shithole, $220 or more a, a week. I was paying like, yeah, I was paying like $900 for this fucking hotel. The person that I made plans with, her and her family, completely f fucking just let me down. Story, and I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not saying it like, oh, poor me. It's just I planned on it. I planned on it. You know what I mean? I, I, it was already in my head to have a contingency plan. So what I ended up doing was I came here, and then one day I was working. I would take the bus right here. I'd be down here at five o'clock in the morning. Blah 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 say goodbye to both my cats and one day they came in my room and the girl goes you can only have one cat okay you can't have two I go listen I'm not uh I'm not saying this to be um you know like rude or tough or anything like that but I would just say for the safety of everyone we should probably just uh leave that alone I would I would think would be the best uh you know what I mean I don't want to get excited in here and uh, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm going to, you know, I feel like I'm going to get excited. When I got my cat back after getting out of jail, oh, I'll tell you this. So I had my bags, two suitcases. I had to push a fucking shopping cart. You know how embarrassing that is? And then go sleep under a fucking tree. <laughs> In a city that I don't know anybody. And this ain't the greatest fucking neighborhood, you know what I mean? I just took some mushrooms too, so it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit weird. But, uh. Yeah, um, what was I going to say? Fuck, there's another good story there somewhere. Um, I, think, I don't know, it was good. I got to keep riding. Yeah, it was funny. Um, I would go down to the pool. This is such a crackhead fucking hotel. Nobody would even be in the pool. And all the blinds would be closed. Every You get up in the morning... You know, you gotta be, you, you know, the only way you're gonna really succeed in life is if you just don't stop and you don't quit, you know? It's every, everything is possible, you know? And, uh, like I tell people, I'm not saying this because I'm some guru or something. You gotta give your life, you know, to let him, I tell God, I tell God, listen, do what you want with me, okay? Do what you want with me, but I need your help. And I don't know why it surprises me. I don't know why that people just, they can't talk to God at all. How could, I just couldn't even, I'm not saying this to be weird or anything like that. I felt like I was talking to, um, I think it was Rachel on here. I've always felt, that, I've always felt God, you know, since, since I was able to recognize it. I always knew there was some kind of goodness somewhere, you know something was something that I you know couldn't even understand even in like second grade and third grade the idea of creation of evolution I would tell my teacher that's not in the Bible <laughs> you know what I mean so uh, that was when I was a good kid but uh, anyways I just always felt his presence I couldn't imagine and that's another reason why the rapture is going to happen because the Holy Spirit gets removed he and lets the Antichrist out and he's not gonna be able he's not gonna be able to talk to you. You know what I mean? So peace out.